So I want to talk to you about the importance of tonality. Tonality really demonstrates self-esteem and confidence. And the reason it does this is because of how we automatically react with the tones we use when we're in different social situations. There's three different tonalities, and this is the best way to understand it. There's trying for rapport tonality. So trying for rapport, and that's in a high-pitched voice. So that'd be like if I was like, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the confidence program, and uh, hey, I hope, you know, hope you really like it, da-da-da. Or, hi, welcome to the bank. How can I help you? Or, you know, just like, hi, my name is Justin. Uh, you know, it's nice to meet you. You're talking in a higher-pitched tone, right? You're trying to have rapport. A lot of salesmen do this. A lot of like people just at their jobs do this. You know, it's kind of like imagine someone who has a shitty job and they're just like, hi, welcome to the store, right? And you're like, you know, you're not always like this. You're not like this when you leave here. You're just doing this because it's professional in a certain sense, right? It's coming off as you're trying to be nice. You're trying to be pleasant. The funny thing about this is when people do trying for rapport, we all pick up that it's not genuine. We know it's not genuine. We're just like, oh yeah, like the person's trying, you know. Well, here's the thing as well. When we find someone attractive, a lot of times we accidentally slip into that. We probably go and just like, hey, hey uh, how was your day? Uh, would you, uh, you want to grab coffee sometime? Or we're in this weird trying for rapport tonality. And people pick up on it. And it's just, it's not, it's not a very good one because we kind of, in that sense, what are you really demonstrating? What are you really saying to that person? You're like, I'm not worthy of talking to you. You wouldn't want to talk to me, right? So because I'm lesser and you're more, I'm going to try to get from you what I want, which is your attention or, you know, for you to comply with whatever I'm trying to get you to buy or whatever, you know, maybe go on a date with me, please. Right. This weird trying for a poor thing. All right. So cut that out. I don't want you to use trying to poor anymore. Instead, what I want you to do is talk in a normal rapport the same way you talk with your friends and family right it's more neutral you're not like up here you're just like hey what's up how are you how's your day cool talk and try and get used to you know going into this neutral rapport now here's the truth of it when people first try this they think they're in neutral rapport but they're really still in trying the best way to do this is to actually practice breaking rapport tonality and when you think you're being in a breaking rapport tonality you're actually in neutral rapport this is kind of how it works right so what is breaking rapport? Breaking rapport tonality is what you'd hear maybe a police officer talk to you like or a, a bouncer at a club where they're like, IDs now or license and registration, please. Or hi, um, can I help you guys? There's some sort of thing that's just like it's breaking rapport. It's like, I don't care if you don't like me. I'm being direct and I'm being assertive and I'm being, you know, you know, confident in what I'm saying. It's just like, I know what I'm talking about. These are the rules. I'm the authority here. Now, this might sound bad at first. But understand that when people have this, they react really well to that. When people use a breaking rapport tonality, it's very attractive. You'll notice as well, even with me, the reason I'm able to talk this way is because I know what I'm talking about when it comes to confidence. So I can talk to you in a way that's like, da, 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 da. It's very direct. It's very powerful. And you'll notice that I have more of an influence on you, right? I'm able to teach effectively using this voice. Now, to me, it doesn't feel like I'm like trying to break rapport. I obviously want to have you, you know, like me in this program, right? But at the same time, you know, I'm talking to you in a way that I know is going to get right down to making change, being an effective communicator. And that's with using breaking rapport tonality. It's an authoritative tonality. So just try doing that. And you'll find even when you try to do that, you'll actually be a neutral rapport. And breaking rapport tonality doesn't have to be negative, right? I know I used the example of the police officer, the bouncer, but you can even use that tone and just be like, hey, how are you? How's your day? What's up? And you can talk in that way, in that kind of like direct, and it's not broken up. It's just using a deeper tonality in your voice as well as a directness to it. You're really projecting at them. Whereas trying rapport is, <gasps> it's kind of breathing in. It's like, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? And then, hey, how are you? Neutral rapport as well there. So notice these three tonalities. Use them effectively. When you're in a breaking rapport tonality, it's authoritative. It's more attractive. It's dominant. It's, uh, you know, there's something about it that really is, you know, very magnetic to people. People listen. It demands attention. It demands, you know, a certain sense of respect out of it. Now, you don't want to go over the top. You're like, hey, everyone, listen up. Like, you're not like this kind of weirdo. I got something to say, right? It's, it's nothing weird like that. But rather, you're just using it in a more calmer manner, but with controlling the tonality. So you can tell the difference, right? Use this effectively, 
And when you're in that frame, it also demonstrates that you're a high-valued character. It's that you're a confident person. You have a lot of self-esteem because you know your worth. You don't really care what people's judgments are on you. You know your worth. And because you know your worth, they can like you or they can not like you. You're not here to please anyone. You're just here to have a good time.